point shop owner's terrifying message for silver. The local shop is the front line of the precious metals market. In the next three minutes, Preston will show us the shocking reality of life in the silver game and away we go. <laughs> So it's Preston, right? Yeah, that's Preston. Right. And yeah. I, I'm Pound of Gold. Oh, nice to meet you, Pound of Gold. Yeah. Uh, so uh, why don't you tell me, how's business lately with this, with the, the spike last week in prices? Well, so the first thing to keep in mind is that the economy is not good. So people um, people are not as not buying as much as you'd think they would be right mm -hmm. now. But it's a lot more selling. Hmm. So when people, you know, see that the prices broke 2000 2050, they started coming to me, started looking to sell for cash. Um, so right now we have seen record selling. We have, I won't say how many outstanding checks we have, but we have a lot in outstanding checks. So from, yeah. a, from a business standpoint, did, how do you feel about that? That's a, tough, that's a tough place to be in. We got hit with so much inventory that we can sell it. Mm -hmm. You're talking about people selling more than buying, how how long do you feel like that's been going on? Uh, it's been going on since September. This is alarming. And notice, he is talking about sales since September. September. This has nothing to do with the recent spike in prices. You know, you know. You know that Preston is not the first dealer to describe this shocking reality. If you've been watching my channel, then you've seen other dealers say the same. They have a massive inventory, they are bleeding cash, and can't sell silver. Nobody wants to buy it. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're seeing the same in your local shop. Um, and it, it's interesting that you say that there have been so many people selling because yeah. I hear uh, people complain that uh, they've struggled to, uh, you know, get silver. Like there's there's more buying, and I this is not not in California, but in in other states. I have so that, much inventory. Huh. If they're complaining, come to me. I'll sell to you. <laughs> I, I've got so much silver. So, for for you in a a, a local shop like this, right? Are, is it is it do will people demand cash, or will they uh, will they be accepting it of a check? Generally, yes. And I, I mm -hmm. try to hold as much cash as I can to to meet demand. But if we have to give them a check. People will take a check. Now, I've, I've had a couple instances in the past couple of days where I, I had a guy needed to, needed to pay rent. So he had two gold eagles, so he needed about four grand. I didn't have that. And I'm like, hey, I can give you a check. It's going to be post-dated for December 15th. You know, you've got, you know, Facebook laying off, LinkedIn, Salesforce laid off, a big chunk of people. Um, you know, it's kind of been slowly building. You know, you've got, you know, one tech company after the other. And we got hit with inventory that we paid too much for. Huh. So, um, you know, spot price at the beginning of September, if I remember correctly, was around $25 an ounce. By mid-October, it was around 21 22 I, And I'm just going off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. So if we're paying spot price, which is what we were, we were paying spot price at the beginning of September for all this product and it's not moving, the spot price has dropped on us, well, we're losing money. So, no, it's, and, it's been a range. It's stackers, it's been people who've inherited, you know, silver, gold, 